one day and I'm watching it and I'm like, I can't keep up with everything. How much do you play to get good a day? How many hours? Oh, you got to do what you guys do, man. It, it's nonstop. It, it's you, you, just like you guys got good at everything you guys are doing, man. It's around the clock. It's, it's nonstop. To, to actually be at the top of any one of these games, you, you got to play for eight hours. And then when you're not playing, you got to be, you got to be doing strats and, and, and putting it down on paper and practice them and drilling them timings, positionings. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy stuff. Did your parents ever tell you to get off the computer? Like, oh my God. My mom, my mom broke my Xbox. My dad had my high school football coach come over and tell me it was bad for me. But they, <laughs> they, my, my grandparents tried to give me a pamphlet to go to a, to go to a boot camp in Arizona. Cause my attitude was bad. It was all messed up. Oh. Man. Nick, Nick, can you be, can you be good at more than one game? Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of people are. Usually, in fact, the ones that are really good at one game, they have the tools to go to the other games. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Nick, let's cut through the chase. Uh, where the money at? Like, like, let's just cut. <laughs> like, like, how do we make money in this? Because that's all the black folks. We want to know that. You, you, you got you got to have a blend, man. You you got to be good, but you got to be funny. You you guys got the funny part down, man. You, you got the funny part, but not. No, no, no. I no, no. I now you got to be good. I it, it's raps. Numbers. What are the potential numbers that a person that's really good can possibly take home? That's oh, man, the, the game the game industry is crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, the kind, of, the, kind of, the kind of money some of these gamers are making, man, I, I, don't, I don't like to talk about my bread, you know, in a uh, public setting like this. But, What's hey, man, a lot, a lot of the money these guys are making oh, is crazy. It's, it's big boy money. Yeah, big boy money. I saw Booga. Booga makes about 30 mil. But the kid won that Fortnite thing. He 30? The kid won Ninja. Fortnite, won three mil. Ninja. I think maybe three, 30. Ninja, Ninja probably Ninja. made, like. You said 30? 30. Shannon said 30, man. 30 I, said, I remember three. What? Yeah, Who listen. said no? They said they had to go, uh, I guess, not with just sports, I guess, with endorsements and advertising. Or everything else? Yeah. yeah. I don't Maybe. know much, but I Maybe. know enough to say the money in gaming comes from your entertainment and how long you can hold the audience while you play. So it's about being good at the game, but keeping the audience attention while you play the game. For sure. So I can play Gal that. I'm good at Galaga, Miss Pac-Man. What about that? For sure. But like, like, I got I got buddy Kev, I, I got buddies that are that are so bad. Like they're they're just awful video games. But but it's funny to watch them they, be awful. You know what I mean? Do they have facial hair? How hey, do people Kevin, track without facial hey, hair? My, my I heard bald, Kevin bald no, as hell, man. He, you, give you, him you the cat man fatty bald. I heard Kevin play the the track and field game. You ever seen that one? Okay. I heard he jumped right, that's the enough. I heard he right, jumped off the screen and actually right, walked off. That's enough. That's a hype joke. That's enough. Hey, playing that is real size. Before. <laughs> Listen, before I go, though, guys, I do want to say this, man. This is an opportunity really to salute what I'm going to say are, are, are kings, man, that are doing things not only that they love, but at a very high level. Thug, first and foremost, man, I told you before, love the new album. I love where you are. I love the business, man, that you're becoming within this space of entertainment and rap, man. Keep your foot on the gas. I'm a fan. You, you got my support, dude. I love where you are. Shannon, yes. I have not been able to tell you, dude. I'm so damn proud of you from where you are going and growing in this damn space of journalism. When I tell you, when I tell you, you are shining and you are flourishing in the space that nobody saw you coming in, dude, it's, it's beautiful to see Mike, the hardest working man in, in show business you have been. Love to see it. You're still doing what you love. Prom, you set an example. Those will follow. Trust me when I tell you, you done broke ground that people are going to follow. I'm I'm proud, once again, to say I witnessed it, and I love that we're seeing so many talents now go the same direction, dude. A groundbreaker and a move maker, you still are. You still got it because you're doing it in a different way, man. And Nick, dude, in the gaming space, you find a way to make kids understand that there's money in this thing that's fun. All right? It's fun but there's also a business in it. So push the envelope and continue to succeed. I love that I get to come on and just literally cut the shit with y'all and be personable, but more importantly, show love. This is about a good cause. Shout out to all of the players that are coming through in the draft of time tonight. More importantly, the charities that we're contributing to. Hopefully others follow suit. I kicked off with 50 grand. Um, yeah. It's about positivity. AJ, I see you down there too. I'm out. Um, I'm in Budapest. I got to hey, be up at three hours. Hey, now, hold on. I got to say something real quick about you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Quick, real quick, I'll be nice to you for one second. Okay. I know that Kev, for a fact, there's a circuit that you go around in the comedy world, mm -hmm. and most people go through that circuit like a, a, a for one year to get like known and like build up, you know, their whole fan base and everything else. And even after Kev did Soul Plane, he went around it for a year. <laughs> Kev went around it for another year. Yeah, like, that ain't right. Nobody right. else did, and everybody didn't see. 
the work that Kev put in to be where Kev is. And we get on here and we fool around and we laugh and we joke and we see each other, we have a good time. But everybody here, we I know I respect everybody on this. Yeah. Because where everybody is, there's a lot of work. And Kev, I never told you, but I heard that story, man. I respect you, my brother, because you put in a lot of work and you and what you do, you know, are leading a lot of people too. So thank you. We appreciate you hopping on here with us, man. Always, and, man. You know, and I, I ain't giving you no flowers until we come on my podcast. I ain't giving you no flowers until we come on my podcast. Shady, you, you got my word. I'm coming on. I promise you that. Right. I got my word. Got my word. That that one salutation and you mentioned soul play. That's not right. Well, he don't know that. That's why I had to go around the world three times. No, no, no. I knew that, Kev. I knew that, but I wasn't gonna say that. I wasn't gonna put you out.